What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. All right, folks. You see the pictures. Mr. Warmack is definitely in the building. And today, I'm brought another uh, visitor with us. Uh, if you want to show up your face in four, three, two, one... And here he is, man. Good luck, Jonathan, President Nigerian. He's wondering the same thing I'm wondering right now. How did America become so weak and so so politically correct, obsessed, that now we have to talk about this subject in three, two, one? Now, we're talking about fat shaming, which is a new phenomenon, which is not a new phenomenon. It's just the words a new phenomenon. And uh, we're going to talk about how fat people are offended that uh, they're being shamed for being fat. Now, I'm sure whenever everybody was little, you got teased when you were little chubby fat kids. Even I got teased when I was a little kid. Let me tell you a story. I wasn't this. I wasn't this always this good looking. Well, I always was this good looking. I had to peel through the layers, but I'm gonna say it just to make you feel better. I wasn't always this good looking before. I had when I was younger. I had a, a, a weight problem. And uh, when I was little, and I'm going to tell you, it, it, it made me mad because my grandmother said this. It, it, the, the one, besides my mom, these are the only two women that can tell me anything. But what happened was, we, when we were little, like we wore hand-me-downs. And my uncles were giving us some clothes. Well, my grandmother gave us some clothes for my uncles, for me and my brother. And uh, my grandmother was saying something. I couldn't fit the clothes. My grandmother called me Husky. Now, in case you guys don't know, Husky is code word for fat. And I remember my mom and dad laughing, my brothers laughing, I'm like, in the back of my mind I'm saying this. I'm like, what the fuck she just say? And she called me Husky, and I knew what Husky meant. Look, I was old enough to know. And every, a good laugh was had by all at my expense. But, I digress. I did not get mad about it. What I did is, I did one of two things. I turned into the beautiful individual that you see now. But, the problem I see with this uh, fat shaming is... Why can't we call a spade a spade? If you're fat, you're fat. Like, like I can, I, I can understand if it's a, if it's medically related. I'll be the first one to say if it's medically related, I can, I can truly understand. Maybe you're going, maybe you're going through chemo, and uh, maybe it's the medicine they're giving you. Maybe it's your pituitary gland, maybe it's your thyroid. Well, I know that's what all fat people say: it's their thyroid gland. It's always overactive. It's not the, it's not, it's not the. Not the constant trips to the buff all you can eat buffet. That's the problem. It's the thyroid gland. I understand, but I mean, if it's medical, I can see that. But if it's if it's because you're just straight gluttony and fat and lazy, well, yeah, there's there's a bone that should be picked with you. Because you should want more in life. Because then, then what it kills me is people say, well, "What any businesses of yours?" Well, guess what? The fat people that are just fat because they want to be fat. That's their business. But it affects people as long as not with all this healthcare BS. It affects other. It affects regular people's premiums and stuff. Look, am I overweight? Yeah, I'm overweight. I'll be the first one to admit it. But if I stand there, somebody that if I stand there, somebody that they gotta break a house down to get out of the house, I look real skinny. Let me put it to you that way. There's levels of this shit. And the fact of the matter is. This is a man. This is what America has come to. You can't even say nothing about somebody being fat no more. You know, well, well you're shaming me because I'm fat. No, you're fat because you're lazy. Like I said, I can see you, you had a medical issue, but if you just you just land in bed because you're just so lazy, fat, then I got a problem with that. I got a problem with the person that gets kicked out of the Chinese all you can eat buffet and then wants to kill me with the having twelve plates of General Tso's chicken and orange chicken, then gets a diet then gets a diet cooked because I'm on a strict diet. Yeah, you're on a seafood diet. You you see food, you eat it. Like I said, airplane seats go up. There's many a problem with this. But the fact is, this is what America's come to. In America, you can't call anything out no more. You have to be politically correct. And look where it's getting us. It's getting us to like our work, our more moralistic society is no more based on morals. It's based on how you feel and how other people want to see things. Right is wrong, and wrong is right nowadays. And if you call it out, you're 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 a hater. That's the best one I hear now. Oh, you're just a hater. No, you should be worried about your fat. 
there's heart disease. Now, if you don't worry, I'm hey, that's your business. But when my premium goes up because you want to get your lazy fat ass out of bed and hit a treadmill, that's one thing. But the fact of the matter remains, everybody carries some weight. If you're comfortable with that, cool. But don't get mad when people call that out. Because back in the day, they always called it out. It's just that now America, America is PC, it's pussy city. America's not built on the principles that it was, was used to be. America's built on the principles that make you feel better. And everybody in America gets a first place, second place, a third place. Well, hell, now everybody gets a trophy. There's no more, there's no more, there's no more distinction in America anymore between first place and last place. And you know what second place used to be called by us? The first loser. Nowadays, you get a medal for that. And that's the problem with America. Whenever we can get back to be the, the, the badass, more, more, more morally correct, whenever we can take things and like take, take, take a punch, America couldn't take a punch right now if we tried. And that's the problem. When we get this morally back and correct, we'll be a lot better. But until until you, until you see stuff like this, fat shaming, get out of here. Yeah, if you're fat, you're fat. If you're skinny, you're skinny. If if you if you're muscular, you're muscular. It is what it is. So I got one thing to say. I'm out. So peace. Have a good one.